Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, back again with the Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller. Uh, now this right here obviously is the Sky Controller, and I've got the, uh, the iPhone 6 Plus. As you can see there, it's going to be my FPV screen uh, for, the, uh, for this particular flight. Now with the Sky Controller, you don't have to use a tablet or a, uh, or a phone. You can simply use the controller itself. Or optionally, you could also use, here on the side, you can see it's got the HDMI. So you could plug in some uh, FPV glasses, such as a Carl Zeiss Cinemizer that you can find the link to within this video's description. You can find all of this within this video's description. The, uh, the Parrot Bebop drone, the Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller, case, backpack, you name it, it's all there. But what I want to accomplish in this video, it is quite good weather today. It is... Uh, it is cold out, but there's minimal wind. And what I wanted to do, and you'll see when I start this video, you'll see what I see on the screen with the sky controller. Now keep in mind with Parrot Bebop drone, if you're just flying the Parrot Bebop drone with an iPad or an iPhone or an Android phone or an Android tablet, the interface that you see if you're controlling it with that device is a different Free Flight 3 interface than you'll see with what you're about to see when I take uh, when I take the Parrot Bebop drone airborne with the Sky Controller. So you'll be seeing what I see on my screen while using the Sky Controller. Okay, so now I'm recording and I'm wired up uh, through my laptop obviously if you're just flying the Parrot Bebop drone you're not going to have to have this configuration this is a special configuration so you can see what I see on my screen so the first thing we're going to do is uh, turn on the Parrot turn on the Bebop here And then once it's turned on, I'll be able to pair up with it. Uh, this neck strap, by the way, is optional. You don't have to wear it. Also, there's a sunshade, but I found that I don't even really need the sunshade. Because I've got the, uh, the Retina display on my iPhone 6 Plus. So, so now my Bebop's on. I'm going to... Uh, Actually, I'm going to bring all this closer here so we can see, so you can see why I fly more detail. I'm kind of tethered to this laptop for the screen recording piece. But we're ready to, uh, to get airborne here, so we're going to make sure we're paired with our Bebop. Okay, so now what you see, you see me... And then also in the in the corner of the of the screen, you're going to see the uh, the display of what I'm seeing. Now that's what I'm seeing from my Sky Controller, which is the Free Flight 3 application. Now if you're using just the regular Parrot Bebop and iPhone or iPad or Android tablet or Android phone, it's going to look different. And you'll notice that this interface is streamlined for use with Sky Controller. You'll notice there's not a landing button at the bottom and some other subtle things. So what I'm going to do to take off on the Sky Controller. And you can check out my other Sky Controller video where I dip, where I show all the buttons. But I'm going to push this button right here, white up arrow, white down arrow. This is going to cause the uh, Parrot Bebop drone to go airborne. Now it's in the air. Now you see what I see, and I'm going to uh, going to ascend here. And again, you're seeing all of this while I'm flying, and that. That was my intent with this video because I wanted to show everyone as close of an experience as you can have without having this in your hands. So check the link within this video's description. You can order the, uh, the Parrot Bebop drone online. But the Sky Controller just makes it a really silky smooth flight experience. It's one of the things that I like, uh, that I like most about it is just being able to have precise flight controls while I'm flying this. And obviously if you want to, 
you can uh, using this up here you can manipulate the camera angle see now I'm going down and now I'm going to take it up up in the sky that's all you're seeing now is the blue sky but what's cool about this in comparison to some other drones on the market not only can you go up and down but you can go left and right and this is just the camera controls this is not this is not manipulating the uh, the flight of the of the uh, parrot bebop in any way whatsoever I'm just panning around while it's hovering because see I'm not touching the stick so it's just hovering stationary so that's really cool I mean that's just one of the many cool things you can do with the parrot bebop drone with sky controller that I feel is uh, is a cool perk especially if you're involved with this for uh, for recreational photo and or video you can really get some precision precision ugh, precision shots rather for your uh, for your flight and the flight time of this is quite good we're gonna uh, you can see within the app there's an indication of the uh, of the parrot uh, bebop drone battery life that's remaining so I've got that in there it's at 57 percent right now the sky controller is at 64 but you really get some impressive range out of this obviously I'm flying responsibly and in line of sight and and at a safe altitude as always so um, I just want to show you what I can do I'm going to zip around and zip over me you can see me up there in front of that in front of that little house thing let's, let's buzz me here but I mean the precision of this and I mean I'm I'm going at it really fast here can see how good it is how easy it is to control that's one of the things people ask me they're like do I need to buy the sky controller and my answer is uh, it's really a matter of what you want to do with the drone because if you're if if you want to have silky smooth controls over it it doesn't matter if it's a drone or, or a video game or whatever if you're using a touchscreen interface you're not going to have the tactile feedback and level of precision that you would get with a joystick and that's what the sky controller is it's a very high-tech joystick so for that reason I would definitely recommend if, if you want the maximum experience get the sky controller if you just want something fun that's obviously a lot of fun get you the uh, Parrot Bebop drone and uh, and you know have have fun with that there's nothing wrong with that at all but if you want to maximize your range and, and your features, it'll get you a sky controller. And you'll notice in the top, when you're looking at the app display that I have on the screen with this video, you'll notice towards the top right, you'll see that red, uh, red flashing. That just indicates that it's recording video. It's recording video right now. And that's one of the cool things about the Parrot Bebop drone is that when it takes off, it starts recording video. So I don't know how many times you've done it, but I know with me, I've had many times where I've uh, failed to start record on another drone, like my Phantom, and this eliminates that problem. We're going to bring it back over here. We're going to do some flips and tricks. One of those cool parts you can you can get with the uh, with the Parrot Bebop drone that many other drones don't have. Let's bring it into the camera here. Look at how precise that is. I mean, that's just super precise. If you're new to drones, one thing that's often confusing is knowing which which way you're heading. And that's why this FPV helps. And that's one reason I may would get a red or yellow Bebop versus the blue, because the blue and the black tend to kind of blend together when it's further away, and it's hard to tell front from rear. Let's do a flip here. So we're going to do a front flip.
Let's see if I can get it to. Normally the flips I do with smartphone only. But I'm gonna see if I can uh, if I can get one of them here with just this. Let's see. That's something I need to research. I don't know if the flip capability is limited to iPhone controls only. You can check out my other video where I do the flips. I did them all. It works great. Uh, but I'm not sure if you can do that with Sky Controller or not. Let's just do a little bit with some low altitude here. I'm sweeping left to right. And you'll see how you can get some really cool low altitude shots with this. And then kind of pan as I go. That's one of the cool things about a drone. It provides someone with the opportunity to create, uh, or to capture rather, filming perspectives that in the past were only doable with uh, dollies and all that, all that sort of high-end stuff. Now you can get a somewhat affordable device like this Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller that will enable you to get those shots silky smooth without all the expensive equipment. And I mean, the main thing is, it's just a lot of fun. I mean, you can get out here and fly around and just have a good time. Ooh, let's get over this grass here. Look at that. Going over that grass, kind of low. And if people were saying the battery life on this is not that great, I disagree because honestly, and, and you're seeing this in real time like I am, this is, a, this is a long flight. And the good thing about it is these batteries are so small and they're a lot less expensive than some of the uh, competition. Some of the, some of the uh, other drones, which I, I like uh, DJI Phantom and, and Phantom 2 and Vision Plus and all of those as well, but the battery, the Phantom 2, battery is a lot larger and it's more expensive sure with those now you're probably going to get around 20 to 25 minutes of flight time with these factory bebop batteries as you can see here it's probably going to be around 10 minutes give or take a minute or so which isn't bad that's just the factory battery uh, you can get now see it says low battery it gave me a low battery warning and it also gave a little bit of vibration in the controllers and acknowledgement it says i've got 17 percent battery remaining but I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. And, and what I was saying about batteries, you can get, uh, check the link within this video's description, you can get aftermarket, uh, aftermarket batteries that are higher, milliamp, M-A-A-H, M -A -H, which is milliamp, uh, which should last longer than these factory uh, Parrot Bebop drone batteries. But let's just buzz it around at a low altitude here in case I do, in case I do lose battery. Look at that. I mean, that's just really cool how you um, how you can see all this. I mean, these controls are great. I really do love the Sky Controller. We're at 14%. Let's go ahead and bring it down. Uh, what's cool with the Sky Controller, as I as I indicated earlier, well, it landed itself because the battery was low. Um, that's the land and take off button, so it does both. This button right here, not to be confused with land or take off, is emergency. If you hit that, it's going to kill the engine, so wherever it is, it's just going to fall out of the sky. Um, but that's that's it. I mean, that's Parrot Bebop Drone with Sky Controller. Obviously, this cable right here is, is not part of it. Let me stop my recording here. Okay, so the recording that I just stopped, that was the uh, 
that was what you see on screen. So I was using my MacBook Air computer, and you can you can ask me more about that. Check the link within this video's description. I'll share more information there as to how I recorded the screen. But the, uh, I mean, it, it just works great. So if you're on the fence about the Parrot Bebop drone, I hope this video was a value. Again, this was a Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller. You can find it and then just a regular Bebop if you want to use your iPhone or your iPad within this video's description. But I like it a lot. Tell me what you think. Now that you've seen what I saw when I was flying, tell me what you think. What do you think about the Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller? And be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixguy and uh, share this video and any of my videos with others. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.